Hello, everybody. I want to thank uh, everyone who's attended DNICon. And uh, it's been a phenomenal weekend. We've had a really great time. There's been so many amazing people, such an incredible amount of talent. To pull something like this together and to have it be the very first one, I think is it's monumental. It's groundbreaking. And it's something that, you know, you, as they say, you're going to remember your first time. You always remember your first time. Well, I will never forget this weekend. It's been incredibly special. Um, my my, uh, my good friend Mike gave me the opportunity to be a part of this event, and uh, I can honestly say that this weekend for me has been life changing. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, it's it's something now that I'm going to take and I'm going to run with it. And the atmosphere here has been incredible. Um, it's just such a loving. It's a loving community. It's a family. That's what we are here. We're a family. And we became a family even more so last night when there was a wedding, a beautiful wedding between Dan and Rich. Uh, Danny Two Names now, as I'll call him. And um, yeah, DNI Con is something special everyone should experience. I can't wait for the future to see what it brings. It's only going to get bigger and better. And um, it's where you need to be because everyone loves everyone here, and that's what it's really all about. What were some of the difficulties with pulling this off as the first con? Well, as somebody who didn't have a, uh, too much of a, uh, of, a, of a role in the comings together, pulling this together, um, what I can address is what I saw um, and have heard you know, as the convention has gone on. You know, some of the things that you have to work on and you have to improve when you're doing something like this, you can't plan for everything. You're not going to be able to think of everything. And so, you know, things like um, when people are paying for sort of like uh, like VIP seating treatment, you know, we want to make sure that those people, they're spending that money to get service. And so we want to make sure that they're getting their dedicated seating and that they're being taken care of and that we're paying attention to that. Um, you know, things of that nature. Basically, we want the people, I mean, everyone here is important. But if you're paying for an upgraded service, we want to make sure that you get what you paid for because we want you to come back and we want you to have the time of your life. You've worn the same suit for three days. Absolutely. Thank um, you, Opposites. suits. Um, what made you pick the pattern? Not so much the color scheme because I know the color scheme fits in with the LGBTQ community. Absolutely. But the pattern, what made you come up with the Star Trek vibe pattern? So, that's a great question. And so, much to the surprise of a lot of people, uh, I've been approached by um, a great number of people who have asked me about the suit and asked me if it's um, you know, custom tailored and all that. And actually, I go through a company called Oppa Suits that I love. I have several of their suits. They're phenomenal, and their suits fit great. And by the way, these things stay clean. You just toss them in the washer. It's amazing. So wearing the suit for three days is great. Just change the shirt. But uh, the pattern itself, I was when I was talking to Mike about the gig, talking about the opportunity, I was like, what kind of a suit? Should I go formal suit or should I go with like one of my kind of suits? And he's like, well, let me see what you got. And I don't think it was 10 minutes later that I had looked online and I found a suit effect, uh, appropriately titled Galaxy Guy. And so this suit is the galaxy. And what better suit for, uh, for this event than the galaxy guy? I'm the guy for the gig and the guy with the galaxy. You've been the cheerleader of the con. You've been the introducer to a lot of the panels. You've been driving Dan crazy for three days. I think, Dan, I think on the contrary, I think... I think Dan uh, is grateful that I've been so uh, active in, in, in being in contact with him because he's got so many things going on. He can't be everywhere at once, which was evident uh, uh, at the Orville panel yesterday where he was rehearsing for his wedding. It was taking quite a while, and he asked me to... Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt your question, by the way, but yeah, he actually... He, it, we were waiting for him, so you know what? Knowing he wasn't going to be able to make it, just took over and handled the introductions. But anyway, yeah, he's had a lot going on. I'm just trying to help the guy out. If you had to design the con next year, mm -hmm. 
what would you want to bring in? Somebody to design the con for me. <laughs> if, I, if I were going to design the con, um, <clears throat> are, you, are you speaking more from an attraction standpoint? Guest attraction, I have a animals. Great one. Something that I was talking to a couple of people about last night that I think would be really, really great is I think... Um, I think it's wonderful to have panels where they can um, you know, talk to people that are the heroes and that inspire them. I think it's great to have um, um, panels where you're doing the, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm failing to remember the name of the weapon right now, the bat left, right? Um, the training with those. But what I think would be fascinating and a lot of fun and really can kind of in include everyone no matter what. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> is some sort of some sort of an arts and crafts uh, 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 panel or session where you get people together and they can design um, their own, let's say, um, bat left, where they can design their own um, um, Star Trek, uh, you know, pin or things like that. But where they have someone there who's a professional who can kind of teach them how to make something special that they can take with them and keep with them forever. That's a really good idea. Thanks, I like that. Thank you. Um, my point of view coming to this con, being a member of the community. Thank you for coming, by the way. I've noticed a lot of just the outpouring of love towards everybody, whether you're in the community, not in the community, disabled, not disabled, has been different vibe than I've gotten from every other, any other con I've gone to, either covering it as media for geekycool.com or attending it just as a fan. It seems like this con, and specifically Gaze in Space, understood what Star Trek and IDIC really meant and really means moving forward. And not so much, not even with the real world applications that are going on right now in the community, but just as an overall way to bring everybody together. Haven't seen any fights, haven't seen any arguments, no pushing and shoving in the lines. And this is probably the best fan performance, if I can use that word, mm -hmm. that I've ever seen from a con. And that's a credit to Gaze in the Face, it's a credit to the fandom, but I think it's also a credit to Star Trek because it wants us to be our better selves, and unfortunately, in the real world, we're not. So, what do you think about that? I think uh, I think uh, I agree with everything you said. You know, I learned a lot. I didn't come into this um, event, <clears throat> um, admittedly, as someone who knew um, a whole lot about Star Trek and, and the sci-fi um, genre. There are things that I am a big fan of. You know what I mean? Uh, just as People are really into sci-fi and the genre, but I've learned so much from meeting everyone. And I've met so many different types of people from all walks of life. And even in my limited understanding, I mean, that's, that's what Star Trek is at its core, is you know, all types of different f figures, individuals, you know, beings from all corners of the galaxy. Everyone looks different, everyone talks different, everyone is different, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's everyone, everyone has to coexist. You know, I mean, unless one faction is, you know, unless you're the Borg and you're trying to kill everybody, but that's besides the point. Um, um, but as far as, as far as everyone being well-behaved and civil, um, I agree um, that it's a testament to all those things. I think this is one area where, uh, and probably the only area where I, <clears throat> where um, I think I'll, I'll, I'll also pat myself on the back a little bit because honestly, I think it comes with, I think part of that comes with um, the voice in the face of, of the show, right? Oh, wait, 
All right, we're back here. We're talking with Sean. Hello. The announcer guy for... It's me. The con. The host with the most. <laughs> um, wrapping this up, what social media can people see you, come find you, talk to you? May I, may I quickly jump back to your other question for just a moment? Sure. If you don't mind. No. What I wanted to finish saying is that I think a lot of it also comes from... Um, who you have as the recognizable face and the host. If I approach this, right, as someone who I can make announcements, but I'm a robot and I'm closed off, um, I, don't, I don't make an impact. You can read a schedule for that. But my goal coming into this weekend was to make sure that every single person that attended DNI Con knows that I am genuine and I mean it when I have told everyone that I love them and that everyone here matters to me and I am so grateful to meet every single person here. And, uh, and, that, and the one thing I have also continued to say throughout the convention is if you need anything, even if I don't know the answer, you can come to me. And I think that puts a sense of ease. I think that brings a sense of ease to everyone so that that's a lot of stress that's taken out of the air. Look. There's a guy we can ask. And if he doesn't know, he'll find somebody who does. Right? Um, so anyway, if people want to find me, and by the way, thank you very much for this time. I really appreciate you. Um, if you want to find me on social media, I have, a, uh, I have a new brand page that I am building. You can uh, find me on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Just look for the guy for the gig, F-O-R, not the number four. The guy for the gig. I'm Sean, and um, I really appreciate you so much. I do. All right, thanks a lot, Sean. This has been John for GeekyCool.com, and thanks for everything you did this weekend. No problem, man. I love you.